How y'all doing out there? Having a good one? Did you make it through the week? We got one more day. Tonight, tonight, tonight. What did I do yesterday? I'm trying to think. Fucking nothing. I went home and watched Munich after the Eric Bana fucking thing. Because the last time I had watched it, I was so high on ketamine. It was just like a bunch of explosions and people getting shot in the face. Didn't know Spielberg produced that. Maybe I should have gotten more or uh, directed that. I'm used to him doing shit like E.T. and stuff. They went ham on that shit. Still don't, I, still don't fuck with Chopper. Shout out to Eric Bana yesterday. He was cool. I didn't know this, but it, like, it almost didn't go. You To be a guest on a show, you got to sign a release or some shit, some law shit. And he was not signing a release. And we're like, uh, well, we don't got nothing else planned. So then he came in and we fucking just, I felt he was a little tense and we calmed him down. Did, did, did you feel that way? I think he was tense from the whole situation. I mean, yeah. we were going back and forth through the whole thing. It's fucking ridiculous. Whatever, man. Like, I can't get in on the law side. I don't know. To me, I don't <laughs> Those things are pointless, those releases. Fuck, who the fuck cares? We got this release here. I feel like you co- walking up, coming on air, and talking is implied consent. But what the fuck do I know? I'm not a lawyer. You fucking lawyers ruined everything. Like, I can't even park in an like, uh, empty parking lot because someone trips and falls and fucking sues. Shout out to the lawyers that do listen. I know we got a couple. And the cops. Hey, do me a favor. If you're a cop, let someone off today. For Judy. Do it for Judy. Chris, why are you pointing? Why are you always going to make it all about yourself? Because I always get tickets. Do you? I have quite a bit. You speed or some shit? It's always speeding. Yeah, I got you, bro. What color is your car? Blue. Red used to be like the number one pulled over car. Then it went to white. I don't know. You Mexican looking, so that ain't going to help. Yeah, and I wear like tank tops, so it doesn't help you. Well, you ask, you're, you're asking for it. <laughs> you're like, oh, you got the pull over, pull me over ride. Kind of, what kind of blue car is it? It's a Honda. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Fuck me. Pull me over. Just asking for it. Yeah. I used to get pulled over all the time out here when I was when I was in the Altima, the late model Altima. <laughs> they thought I was a fucking. I don't know what the fuck they thought. That nicer car started dressing nicer. Suddenly, hey, I still get scared. To this day, I, if a cop gets behind me, I just bang a left. I'm like, I'm a fuck out of here. I'll take another way in. I'm taking another way home. Fuck that shit. Old habits die hard. Do-do. Is Misty Stone here? Did she make it or what was her deal? I was still on the phone with her. She's a couple minutes out. So I'm going to run down and get her. She's good. Got that. She's making, uh, she's getting into acting. So I'll talk to her a bit about that. Is she still doing porn? I hope so. I haven't jerked off to her in a while. I'll tell her that. I'll tell her that when I see her. Pilly Pill. Richard Pryor's son goes on the Apollo and shits the bed. We will play you that. It's not that long. It, t- it took him all of one minute and 30 seconds for people to fucking hate him. You'll hear why. The who's, the what's, the where's, the why's, and then the pilly pill. People are like, why don't you play a new mix? Guys, I don't have the equipment. They move studios. I don't have the equipment. That's why you keep getting the same fucking mixes. So fuck you. And they're still good. What are you talking about? You would literally get the exact same songs. But it's all right. I do want to hear PZ again, though. It's all right. All right. I feel like I already said everything I needed to say. I'm not going to cuss you out, John. Fuck that. You deserve better. How about that? I hate that fucking shirt, though. I, th- I think it's a fine shirt. What is that, mauve? Taupe? I, I, I think it's I can It's the pull- color of a pencil eraser. You look like a number two pencil eraser. I can pull this off. You cannot. <laughs> no one can pull off that fucking color. A from Highland Park wants to shit on you. I was That's a surprise. You, but you don't, you don't have, this is up to you. It's up to you. What's up to me? You don't have to take the call. Hey, what's up, man? God! What's, go- what's going on? You got to take the call, John. Yeah. Exactly. Hey, John. Yeah. Blow me. Yeah, hey, a hey, suck a fat dick. Shut up, bitch. You don't even sound hard enough to say that shit. Hey, John, you gonna move back on your bitch's couch? That's what the internet says. The internet. That's the, that's the that's the word in the streets. Shut mm-hmm. up, bitch. Yes or no? <laughs> He's already there, dude. He's already staying with his girl right now. I've been bounced around a little bit. I've got a new place over in Hollywood. Cost me a lot of money. How much are you paying a month? Uh, a month. It's like eleven something. Yeah, it's about going right, bro. Yeah, I know. I mean, it was just... And you're getting stiffed on the writ again, huh? Do you get your own room? Yeah. It's tiny. But yeah, it's fine. You, what? Dude, you finally... You're... <laughs> I mean, hold on. Let's, yeah. let's, hey, let's clap it up. Hey. Yeah. You got the applause? Play... Look at you. Woo-hoo. You're a grown-up. I have to spend five hours a day commuting. 
Thank hey, you. Yo, that what sucks. up, man? It doesn't matter what he gets. He's still a fucking big chin loser. You're still a fucking cunt, John. You hey. come from a long family of failures, you faggot. By the way, that is yeah, not the case, you Yeah, bitch. your dad couldn't even fucking make it as a priest. Your dad was a priest. He couldn't even hack that. Hey, God he, didn't want him. He, he moved on to greener pastures. Yeah. There Mom you go. Yeah, little boy. <laughs> yeah, what now? I feel like you get more little, little boys than a priest. Boy. Like. Oh, they're, they're out there. Dad was not gay. He was not molesting kids. That's a fact. Do you hear him? Dad. Like, yeah. he's, he, like he's all of our dads. Dad My was not father. gay. But dad. saying dad is not a problem. I, 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 My yeah. dad was not gay. That's how you say it. Not dad was not gay. That implies that we're, hey, he's all of our fathers. All right, fair fair point. Fucking weirdo. <laughs> it's not that weird. Go ahead, A, sorry. Oh, yeah, sorry. What do you have to yeah, say, right. A, dick? So your father's not a child molester, but you're a peeping Tom in a chomoto. <laughs> chomoto. Hey, again, I'm not a child molester. This is just some sort of fantasy. I've never once thought about having sex with a kid. Not happening. So, again, <laughs> you're wrong. <laughs> But why the geeks where I catch all that child porn on your uh, laptop, though? No. Again, there's no child porn. There's nothing. Nothing. Yes, none of it. there is, John. No, there is not a dick. Let's just say he knows his way around Tor. Well, he knows his way around the dark web, but a little too good. I can point to the right direction. No, I, all right, I, man. I, okay, all right. Look, this is going dark quick. No, come on. Hey, good to talk to you. I'm playing some Detroit shit. Here's PZ, 64 bars. 888-742-3345. Misty Stone's coming up next. Checking out the All Out Show with Rude Jude on demand. I get my yearly visit with Misty Stone. You here? What's up, Misty Stone? I'm in the building, baby. It's an annual visit. 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 Is it a visit or a visit? Is it? Well, you're you're pretty, so you can say whatever you want. No one, no one will correct you. They're like. Mm. I get yes. so tongue twisted, baby. Great I don't vision. know what it is. It was the candy in my mouth. I just wanted to make it real wet. I don't know. I like having wet mouth. It's something about having my mouth real juicy and wet. Maybe it's an oral fixation that I have. Is that what it is? And you tell me. <laughs> I think I got him stunned. You tell me. He's 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 on froze. I'm on like we could go about twelve different directions with that oral fixation. <laughs> what you you said you got to go to work after this? Oh my goodness, yes, absolutely. Well, you, you shooting a scene or you not? No, not today, not today. What I'm else actually you do? doing rehearsal. I'm doing mainstream. I'm doing a play. So, I am on a play. I am in a play called Three on a Ring, and it is here in Hollywood this weekend at the Barnsdale Gallery Theater, Friday, Saturday, and man, Sunday. You be plugging early than a motherfucker. I play dog. too much. It go down. I guess you plugging. <laughs> what they got? What, what are you playing in your play? I am a Karen. I am just one of the wives on the ring. You're nervous too. Oh, I'm so nervous, girl. Because it's out of my atmosphere. I'm, you know, I, I suck dick for a living. I was gonna say, well, just pretend like there's a dick on your shoulder the whole fucking you know, time. Yeah, that part. That would be actually a good. That's very good advice, Jude. Yeah, and most people would be like, pretend like the whole audience is it's naked. Naked? No, just pretend there's a dick on my shoulder. Pretend like you're naked. And it's a dick on my shoulder. Yeah, I love what, it. What's the hardest thing about acting? Oh my goodness. Um... Finding the intention of the character because oh, it's you, easy. She sound like an actor. Now. Oh my goodness! See, Finding I, the intention of the beca- character. It's because- the hardest thing. I didn't even know you had to do that. I thought you just read some lines and be cute when you do it. But honestly, you have to have intentions when you read these fucking lines, and it's the hardest thing I've ever had to do, and it consumes my life. And you've done anal. I have not. You um, in my personal life, I'm here now. I've you won't do it. Days. You don't do it on the screen. Uh, no, because they, they don't want to pay me enough. Pay me, pay me, pay me a whole How lot How much of money. extra do you need to get butt fucked? I would like 15 grand. That seems like a... That, That's that a seems, reasonable amount for my ass. I don't know. I think it is. <laughs> not to... Not to but fucking you know, porn get is too just much... not paying that type of money. I was going to say, like, They're porn ain't not, paying that shit. They not no more. And I was in an era when they were. You know, and and, and 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 they would definitely not pay it to a black girl. But I yeah. kind of don't think that they look at me like that in that light anymore. So I'm going to try to erase that from my mind. But I don't think they're paying anybody like that at all. They don't have the money for that. Yeah. So I just don't have the ass for that. So porn is basically like it's almost like a calling card for you to go dance and hook. I'll take that. Is that is that fair to say? <laughs> 
<laughs> like it's a called a tour, sweetheart. That's a nice way to put it. Yes, it's called a tour. That's a, you should be a politician. You, thank you. Because I was you. like dancing hook. You're like no tour. Yeah. <laughs> like, tour that hotel room. You was a mess. Oh my goodness. Yeah, it's interesting, baby. You yeah, know, I, I, I've heard. You know, uh, even the president comes out and tours. You know, with us. I mean, yo, yeah. It's I'm interesting. The, I'm. The, you do pay for discretion and um i'm a little disappointed and like yo man shit happens i you know i've never said it but it's already out there so i can i can mention it i know you can but don't what do you think of what do you think about that when you hear like when you hear about girls fucking because i know you fuck some famous motherfuckers i have no idea baby see that's the right answer (laughs) you a fucking lie (laughs) You a goddamn lie. I'm in a place now. I'm doing mainstream things. I have no idea what you're talking about. You this fuck is ridiculous. Some, you fuck someone that can dunk. This is ridiculous. <laughs> you fuck someone that can dunk. Absurd. I plead the fifth. You fucked a triple double. I already know. I already fucking know. You fucked a triple double. Uh, you triple double fucking motherfucker. Mm, I already know. I don't know, baby. Oh, mm, uh, yeah. Missy Stone here. I'm in the building. Denying everything. No, not at all. I'm just running around. Just with say questions. yes or no. Athletes. Maybe. Rapper. Oh my goodness, maybe. Who tries harder? You. You never fucked me. <laughs> you never fucked me. And, yo, she's she wearing white panties. I saw him. Oh my goodness. Did you? I'm, I, I was laughing so hard my legs flew open. I know. I was like, hey. Hi. <laughs> That's who, how I laugh. Who tries harder? Athletes or rappers? You know, I have no idea. These are ridiculous questions. These are Ruth. fucking good questions. And you're fucking questions. stonewalling me. I have no idea what you're don't talking nobody, about. Don't, no one wants to talk about a fucking play. I do. I, I don't, know. I don't want to talk about people's personal lives. That's what you I You don't have to like. fucking tell me any fucking names. I just want I, to know. I, who tries fucking harder? Who tries hardest? The athletes. Because they're probably in shape. They are. I be tired of the motherfucker. <laughs> I can't with him. I cannot. I be I tired. Yo, I be doing angles. I be like leaning into <laughs> angles because I'm fucking, oh, this is too much. Man, this is an interesting conversation. This, I don't know. This is too much. This, yo, now that I'm older, I just work the fucking angles. Yeah. I'm like a, I'm like a wily old vet. Do you really go the up and over? Do you have like, you know, you do it all? I'll cock like the legs in a certain way, but like girls think that them being flexible is like the shit. Oh, it is. Well, I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and oh, disagree with you on that one. It is. Well, the th- the thing is, is if you're too flexible, it, I can't tilt your pelvis in a way that you just mm-hmm. turn into like a Barbie. You turn into like a GI Joe doll. Oh, I see. I'm looking at the man turn. who is very flexible because I'm not at all. What so do you need for looking, the man to be flexible? Oh yeah, for? so he can do a whole lot of things with that. Oh my, are you kidding me? He can lift me up, flip me over, do all of these wonderful things. I love that. I love yeah. a man to be a man and be aggressive. And if he's flexible. Oh my goodness! He can stick his dick in places that you just couldn't imagine. You're like, wow! There's a there's, that's wonderful. Wow! I didn't know there was a part over there. That part, so it's fun. You ever get some? Have cir- some fun sex. You know what you need? Flexible fun sex. Cirque du Soleil dick. <laughs> All right now. <laughs> you need some of that Cirque du Soleil dick. Go to the Beatles show and pull somebody from out of there. That would be kind of fun. I wonder how, get that how let sex it be with dick. one of those people would be like. That would be kind of fun. Oh, I bet you they'd be, if, if they're not Having an orgy with a whole yeah. bunch of Circus Soleil people. Oh, they're all goodness. in great fucking That's shape. That's a good scene, too. Huh. I'm, I'm, I'm visualizing. I'm fucking visualizing for you. I've, <laughs> I don't like girls that are too in too much shape. Like, they're, like it feels like I'm wrestling a man, oh, and no. I don't like that. Okay. I need them. I, I, like, I like you. You're like, you curvy. I'm, I'm still kind of very toned, though. My ass is very, You're very You're curvy toned. and toned. Yeah. I just put you up on my fucking, on my IG oh. story. Well, thank you. So baby. y'all can see her. So y'all can see her. <laughs> y'all can see her. See what we're talking about. Oh, right now. Are you shooting scenes anymore? Are you done? I am. Get out of here. I'm very multitask. I... I'm shooting adult films. I'm not only doing that, but then I'm doing the acting thing and I'm just juggling it. It's a little difficult. I'm not going to lie, but I'm managing it because I still got to pay my bills. Now, I love acting, but it doesn't pay my bills like adult films does. So, But you came on here to plug the acting. Uh, yeah, because I want to be a fucking superstar. Duh. So you think acting is your next step? Absolutely. I think I can, uh, and the thing that I want to do is, because a lot of the girls, you know, they have to change their name back to their real name, and you know, they, you know, start all over, and they start this whole new life. I don't want to do that. I want to be Misty Stone in this light. I want them to accept me for me and be that. Well, here's my question. 
so many so many of the of the fucking and I don't want to just I'm not going to just pigeonhole you to black fucking cinema <laughs> be, but this is a black play I'm looking it at is. so much of it is fucking based around the church this is a three on a ring. This is definitely not a church. But I'm talking about like all the fucking Tyler Perry shit it is. and fucking going yes. to grandma's house for <laughs> a fucking house. for fucking Sunday dinner and then you know. Well, the, I mean the, that's his niche. The light skin you know, brothers always got cheating. Their own niche. You know, like is it? Do you feel like? Do you feel like it's going to be harder for you to crack into that because you have such a since you've been doing porn for so fucking long? No, no, not at all. I feel very confident about it. You looked at fucking how long you been doing it for? Twelve years. That's why I feel like they I've already built my brand and my name. And for some odd apparent reason, they are accepting me. Yeah. And I'm going to accept the fact that they accepted me. Get the fuck out of here. I ain't mad at so that. if I can branch off and do this without having to start a whole new life all over and have a new name and, you know, be. No, this is wonderful. They'll find out anyway. They're going to find out anyway. So why don't you just be upfront about it? And if they can accept me for this, I'm going to be just very grateful. You, you know what I've learned in my life is no apology. That part. As soon as you apologize for something you are, they fucking they yep. smell that weakness and they're on your fucking yep. head. But you, man, you, I, you I get away with do. everything. Because you own it. <laughs> My co-stars are like, wait a minute. She don't got no notes? <laughs> Everybody else gets notes at the end of it. I get no notes. They're like, <laughs> another great read, Misty. Yep, they do. Another great read. You You've did done fantastic. It again. <laughs> I'm like, you sure you don't want to... You don't think that I should... No, no, no! You're great. You don't mess with the director and all shit like no, that. No, no, not at all. I was in, I was in like this shitty I, film, and uh, the girl I was supposed to get killed with me fucked the director. She made it to the whole. She she lived the whole fucking movie. Hilarious. Yeah, I like, she lived damn. the whole fucking movie. Yeah. You know, it's something about it's just like doing webcam. You just tease them a little bit. You know, just tease everybody just a little bit, but not too much. Make people think that they can get something, but they can't. You dig what I'm saying? And they always going to want to. They always going to want you. It's beautiful. It's, it's a wonderful game that I how play did with you all learn men. That? How I did you that. learn? You don't do that with me. Oh, I do that with all men. You don't do that with me. I don't know, do I? I had, I've had. i never <laughs> operated under the fucking <laughs> assumption that I'd ever be able to put my dick anywhere near you. Oh, you are so sweet. You are such a fucking gentleman. Look at the nice things that you say to me, Jude. That doesn't. That didn't work. It didn't work. No, not at all. Not at Cause all. I knew. <laughs> Cause I know. <laughs> You're such a nice gentleman. Fucking full of shit, fucking Missy Stone. Full of shit. And you worried about acting? You just fucking look at you. That acting. Thank you. I think I'm gonna be okay. And I've never taken any acting classes. Is that not fucking crazy? So I. This is a natural born talent. But don't get me wrong. When I have the time, I am going to sit down and find me an fucking acting. Fucking Meryl coach. Streep over here. Fucking Cicely Tyson. Natural born. This is a natural born talent. This is. This is just what Jesus gave me. He gave it to me. Look, here's my here's my advice. Yes. You go do you. You don't. The, the shit I always see with motherfuckers when they fuck up is when they get in their head and they just think too much. And it's just fucking. Just say the fucking words, man. Yeah, I do. Be it. fine. Yeah. Okay. Thank you, baby. Thank you. Because I think I was thinking too much before. Really? Yeah, absolutely. And well, I don't think you knew that, but that was good advice. So thank you. Well, it's, it's like, look, man, any, anything you do, like I got to go do these fucking book readings and I don't like, like I'm used to being in a box right here with four people. And, and now you have this audience that oh, yeah. is watching. Yeah. It's not going to be edited. There's nothing no. done in post. No. <laughs> <laughs> and I've said some fuck shit where you're like, oh, that came out wrong. That yeah. part. Uh, alienated that fucking couple on accident. But, you, you know, you just fucking keep going. You just keep going. You know that you for me, it's like I know that they know that I didn't mean anything by that. I wasn't talking about them in particular. Of course. Let's just keep that shit moving. I hope they know that. Whatever. They were cool. OK, cool. They were fucking cool. Can you read their minds? They stuck around. Okay, good. <laughs> He's like, that's how I know. <laughs> I read their actions. I read their actions. I take that. Yes. When's your show open? It opens this Friday. Oh my goodness, that is fucking tomorrow. Don't baby. fuck this up. I know. I'm not. Don't. I got you this. Fucking. And my blow outfit it. is fly. I just got it bedazzled by Busy B Hollywood. Shout out to Busy B in Hollywood. What are you playing? I am playing Karen, the drunken wife. I came out. Oh, you're the drunk wife. Yeah. <laughs> that's a stretch. That's a stretch. <laughs> that's a fucking stretch. <laughs> And they won't let you smoke weed? Man, I'm like, dude, I will help me get into character. Why don't you vape? I don't, I should. Because you can't, can't smell that shit. That part. You smoking loud, that's your problem. I need to vape. I'm going to go get a vape today. Yeah, vape that shit. Thank you. Click five times. <laughs> Click five times. Turn that bitch on, vape, okay, and get the I'm fuck gonna vape. going. I just love my flowers, but you know, I guess if I smell, 
like weed. Yeah, all if the you time. smell loud, and especially if you're fumbling but your lines. I thought I put enough Chanel on, you know? I guess not. Here's a. Here, that's like a, that's someone with fucking like armpits. That's like uh, you know I can change this fucking just all of the colognes. Just put a bunch of cologne on. You smell it. like France. Yes. <laughs> so okay, that's what I've been smelling like going into rehearsal. Yeah, you every think day. you're fooling somebody? They're I'm like not. this motherfucking. She oh. coming here lit. Yeah, fucking. <laughs> Smell like all the perfume and some loud ass weed. Fuck traffic, man! You got to sit in traffic for like a fucking hour. What are you gonna do in traffic? Just sit in traffic? Who does that? You guys don't smoke weed while you're in traffic? No, nah, man, I'm sober when I drive. What? Yeah. Wow. I listen to fucking uh, I listen to lectures on YouTube. It's fucking. The fr- it's funny. You're weird. I just want to get smarter. Okay, I dig it. Maybe fuck. I just want to smoke weed while I drive. Whatever. What's wrong with people? Well, you got a drug problem, clearly. <laughs> you have a drug problem, clearly. You're a fucking addict. <laughs> I'm worried about you. This was an intervention. <laughs> this was an intervention. That's why we really brought you here. It's Mrs. not about your play at all. Mrs. And go to www.threeonaring.com to go and buy tickets. And not only that, we're gonna have a free raffle so that you can win a night. You you can win a night with me. So go ahead. What the fuck does that entail? I have no idea. Oh, buddy. I don't know. What does it entail? So just try to enter into that free Free raffle. You go to the website that I said, www.threeonaring.com. You go put in promo code Misty and you enter into the fucking raffle. Bam. You might win. And you can hang out with Misty Stone. All night long. And watch her get stoned. All night long. There it is. You want to smoke some weed with me? I hate weed. <laughs> Do you really? You oh are really, God. truly a vapor then. I don't like any of that shit. Oh, wow. It makes me very paranoid. Wow. I think about everything I hate about myself. And Hilarious. there's a lot of shit I hate about myself. <laughs> <laughs> there's a ton. I got a laundry list. Oh, shit. Of things no, that I can gonna, hate. We're going to stop you from smoking weed anytime. We're going to just keep it away from you in the vicinity. What's your, uh, what's your, what's your everything, Misty Stone? What's my everything? Yeah, like what's, oh, at Misty Stone XXX on Twitter. The oh, yes. Instagram, Misty Stone 420. Of Jesus. Course. I'm oh, sorry. You, oh, you got, you got a problem. And my Snapchat. You putting 420 behind your name? Everything. You're a fucking pothead. <laughs> I live in California. It's like me, Jude, Jude, GHB. Like, I don't do, like, I just, hey, you know, <laughs> fuck. I live in the state of California. I think it's pretty normal. There you go. I'm just saying. Missy Stone. My name is Misty Stone. What the you can fuck? Buy her, you can buy her, her sex doll for <gasps> two grand. Yes. Actually, that is 1 a.m. doll, I am doll, USA.com, where you can have my full. 63 pounds. Yes. Full body. You know doll. what I do to you? Oh my. Butt fuck you every night. <laughs> You're an asshole. I'm coming. You. <laughs> You're a fucking I'm asshole. Butt fuck you. I don't like anal. I know. <laughs> I might, I might even fucking, yeah, I might FaceTime you while I'm doing it. <laughs> butt fuck the shit out of that doll. I hate you. Please don't take ever that. do that. Take Please. that. Take that. Please don't ever take do that. that. But it's crazy. Does it come with a butthole that's open? It does. Oh, yeah. The mouth, you can fuck the mouth, the pussy, and the ass. I'm going and straight when you asshole slap every time. Her ass, it like, it jiggles and shit. Like, it feels so real. You can move her Damn, in different looks, positions because she's that's got- That's weird, dude. Looks like you, man. Yeah, it's weird. It's fucking weird. It's a doll. It's going to be really weird when I butt fuck you. I can't. I fucking can't. <laughs> this Missy is Stone, ridiculous. Y'all. This is ridiculous. Thanks for coming in. Thank you for having me, baby. All right. Let's mm-hmm. go. You are checking out the All Out Show with Rude Jude on demand. And now... It's time for News from the Chin with John Z. Matthews. Mason Pryor, Richard Pryor's youngest son, he is appearing on a new episode of Showtime at the Apollo. Oh, brother. It airs tonight. Oh, brother. That's where you got to go rub the motherfucking the wood for good luck. Have you ever been there, the Apollo? I went there when Prince died, but I was outside. Everybody's jamming Prince. It's kind of cool. Richard Pryor's son. Mason. Oh, it's tough. It is tough. You're going to start off at the fucking Apollo? <laughs> Eesh. This was a mistake. Steve Harvey. God, that motherfucker is a working ass. God damn. How many fucking Everywhere. jobs he got? Everywhere. They don't got other one. No. I'd be mad as hell if I was a black dude. I'm like, he's taking every fucking job. Man, he has all the money. He's got every, oh, He's got oh, all God. the money. I <laughs> seriously. Was he on the Kings of Comedy? I can't remember. Probably. 
I mean, he's funny, but like, he ain't even, like, what's up? Said, Cedric the Entertainer. I know you listening. Go get them jobs, man. No, don't let Steve get every fucking job. How you going to be Family Feud and Showtime with the Apollo? What happened to Sinbad? Where is he? Man, I'm, fuck Sinbad. He wouldn't come on the show. Oh, he didn't? Yeah. All right. Fuck him. All right, fuck him. Sorry. Beige motherfucker. <laughs> sorry. So the show is too dirty for him. Like, fuck you, man. Can't get past a dick joke. Talk about some real shit. I actually like Sinbad, too. I was a fan. I was like, well, fuck you, then. I want to come on my show. <laughs> fuck you and your fucking ugly ass. Fucking mustard suits. Does he have, like, a dangling earring or something? Yeah, he does. He works clean. I get it. But, like, yo, man, like, I could have been cool. Now I'm, now I'm mad about Sinbad. Sorry. I didn't know. I didn't know. And did you ever notice with the Family Feud, all they do is, like, they'll be like... Name something long on your body. And then, like, somebody will be like, penis. And then Steve Harvey gives the fucking, ooh, that, that fucking look. The fucking Jack Benny look from fucking 70 years ago. Ooh, ooh, I can't believe someone would say that. Oh, it's so corny. Just a bunch of double entendres. That's got to be a sweet job, though. Oh, my God. You know who had it before him was the fucking dude from Tool Time. With the beard. Oh. Okay. I, I don't remember yeah. his name, but right. It was corny. Steve Harvey does a better job. I'm just saying, man, there's got to be some more. So let's go to Steve Harvey again. Steve, he's everywhere. He's got a little show. He's got everything. All right, so. All right, play it. Let's, let's Here we go. Richard Pryor's son. At the Apollo. The noise for Mason Pryor. All right, go. Oh, brother. They, oh, they they love him at this point. He's right. He rubs kisses, yeah, kisses yeah, a little. Like he waves. All right, he's young. Thirty-one. Hey, Hello. Oh, oh, wait, hold up. He just right? did, did. He he just did a, a dad impression. Yeah, that's not he came out doing an impression of his father. It's making me cringe. Oh man. All right. <laughs> Fuck. Keep going. And I'm nervous. I can literally hear my dad up in heaven right now. Like, boy, you better not mess this up. <laughs> a lot of crazy stuff going on right now. Donald Trump is president. Hit pause. Nah, calm down. Yeah, he. Oh, wow. <laughs> wow. Hey, is there, wow. Comedian, come on out talking about Donald Trump. Well, you fucking, you broke the mold on that one. All right, keep going. Right out of the gate. Nah, calm down. I'm not as mad as Facebook is. You read the messages. Oh, Donald Trump, that's the worst president ever. I'm not the smartest man, but 400 years of slavery and not one of them presidents made the cut. And the worst part is, I feel like I understand really what's the problem with Donald Trump. Everybody here in America knows the code. If you get caught cheating, you got to cut your side thing loose. Donald Trump still on the phone at the White House talking to Russia. Hello? Hey, no. No, I want to talk to my man oh, right now. Stop. You go get... What is he doing? The crowd is turning on him. Yo, he's... Slavery and politics? <laughs> uh, the fucking Apollo? <sighs> it gets ugly. You know, Richard Pryor grew up in a whorehouse. Like, Richard Pryor grew up, like, R Richard Pryor grew up, it was dark. You know what I mean? And he pulled from his pain and, like, made shit funny. Like, I copy off of Richard Pryor. Like, I copy, I copy off of Richard Pryor. Um, here's this privileged kid that is just coming out fucking just, what the fuck are you talking about? I wouldn't talk about that. I wouldn't talk, I don't. When people try to talk, come over to my house and do drugs, and they start talking about that shit, I shut them down. I'm like, shut the fuck up. No one wants to hear this shit. Talk about something. Who the fuck wants to hear this shit? Now he's into Russia. All right, keep going. My Putin. Is that you, my Putin? I love you so much. I love the way you smell. Whoa. I love the way your name comes off my lips. Boom. Damn. <laughs> oh. Let's have some respect. Have some respect. Sit 
down, sit down. Y'all not going to move me. Well, sit down. Yeah. Yo, Steve Harvey ain't helping me either. You see Steve Harvey leading the audience? The fucking, the faces he was making. Is that what that, that show's normally like, though? I mean, they just yeah, they turn you, on people. Yeah, if you're not good, if you're not good, they bring it, they got a fucking, they, 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 they fucking cart your ass right the fuck off. Ugh. That was an awful set. Who told, he ain't got no friends. How did he get, well. He needs to be out of, women be shopping. <laughs> women be shopping. Ugh. Nah, man, I'm not doing that. And I can barely find him online. I think this is his Instagram. <laughs> not a lot going on there. Just eat, eat off that Silver Streak money, bro. Yeah, this is not Just eat off, eat off of that money, bro. Just eat off your daddy's fucking money. Take out something else. He may yeah. re- he may recover. It airs tonight, so that's just a clip of it. It airs tonight, right? Yo, man, look how many greats, like great athletes, have you seen where their kid have has like come out and just been a baller? You see, like you see, like decent guy, like Steph Steph Curry. Curry Curry's dad was great. We were in Jordan. You know what I mean? You see that. But like you see, when you see someone that is a fucking beast, their kid, you it's so hard to measure up to that man. And he was awful. It, it makes me sad. It's just terrible. Why he's gonna go home and cry until his fucking know. millions of dollars? <laughs> that that's true. I, I shouldn't feel sorry for him. I think he's he's doing just fine. He looked just like his dad. I know his dad like. Eesh. <laughs> I love Richard Pryor. That guy, like, he started, he was, you know, he was selling comedy on records. He was going, like, platinum selling records. Like, Richard Pryor's a motherfucker. Honest. Gang of, gang of comedians got their fucking style from him. Shout out to Richard Pryor. Sorry that your kid isn't funny. Oh. It sometimes it skips a generation. Yeesh. Can you go home and still listen to his, his albums? Yeah. Richard Pryor. Two guys taking a piss with the biggest dick. Dicks ever off a bridge. One one guy says the other, man, this water's cold. Other dude says it's deep too. <laughs> <laughs> fuck you, I'm fun breaking up with your girl. She's like, fuck you, I'm gonna like fuck you, I'm gonna get some new pussy. She said you had two more inches of dick, you could find some new pussy here. Yo. Fucking Richard Pryor's is shit. I love me some Richard Pryor. That's my fucking guy. I, yeah, I mean, fucking. I bet you I even got it on my fucking computer. His son ain't shit. Yeah, look. Yeah, look at this shit. <laughs> fucking Richard motherfucking Pryor. God, but the audience, the way they turned, screaming, bombing that hard just makes me uncomfortable. I, I just can't watch it. Well, here, here's him talking about the president. Let's see what Richard Price says about it. Man, yeah, that's my guy, Richard Pryor. Man, yeah, that's my guy, Richard Pryor. Yo, after he burned his hair up, he came on and did a whole fucking set about that shit. Guy's a legend. Ugh. Yeah. You got a he. Mm. Yeah, don't... No, nah, poor guy. Yeah. 4,000 followers, huh? Yeah. Jeez. Your chin has more followers than him. <laughs> Just about. Your chin has more followers than Richard Pryor's son. Well, I guess at least he's trying. He has one of talking about getting pulled over by the police. It's fucking funny as hell. Or, or you know, he's got another one where he's talking about working for the fucking uh, working for the mob. 
and not getting paid off. Richard runs up in there with a fucking pistol, try to get the money, and the mob laughs at him. Fucking this is great. I I implore you to go get fucking uh, Richard Pryor shit. He's the best. He's my guy. All right, what else? There's this guy over in the UK who was accused of sexual assault after he put a finger in the lady's ass during sex. I'm sure it's a little more complicated, but that sort of led to things spiraling out of control. You know what, man? I feel I feel for this shit. I just did that to a girl the other day. I was eating her pussy and I threw my finger up her asshole. I wanted it there. Did she like it? She came. Did she... There was no motion to stop. Well, I'm it's just, kind of like, here, here's the problem with fucking sex and a lot of this shit is it's like so much of the communication is nonverbal. Most of the communication we do, look it up for me. How much of what, what the percentage of communication is actual verbal? So like you're in there, you're doing it. Like even if a girl tried to fucking throw a finger up my ass, I'll be like, oh, hey, no, 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 don't do that. Just a no. And she said no, and he's like, yeah. I get it, but like, if you're just fucking around in bed and you're trying new things, like, nothing's more unsexy to be like, is this okay? Is this okay? I've done that. Can I do this? I've done that. Is this okay? Is this okay? Do you like it like this? Is this okay? I think I said Is this okay? Can I put my finger in your ass? I? I think I said that. I guarantee I did once. And like, there's ways, you don't just fucking just go jam. You like, eat the ass, spit on that shit, fucking start your way, rub your finger on the fucking, like, there's a lot of times to be like, hey, don't do that. And I, there's been times where I'm like, the girl's like, nah, don't, don't, nah, don't do that. And I'm like, all right. It says that most initiations are nonverbal with 91%. That's what I'm saying, bro. Like, this is not me talking like crazy. This isn't a dude on a subway running up fingering girls' assholes. Which is something... I think they do that in Japan. Japanese kids, there's some shit. There's some word for it. Can you look that up? There's some word for it where, like, Japanese kids fucking finger each other's assholes as a joke. What? Yeah, I don't know. I read it, I read it somewhere. I read it somewhere. I might be totally wrong. That's, that's quite it's a, a gag. It's a, it's a game they play. Different cultures. <laughs> so how did this guy get in trouble? Uh, she she went to the police at some point uh, because she's saying that at some point she said, "Hey, this is painful." She told him to stop. He can- All right, then, then that's that's then no, you can't do that. And, Pain- he, and he continued for several minutes. No. Nope. Yeah. All right. When they say stop, that's a stop, and then you go. I thought the other circumstances is like you try to shit out, they shut it down, you fucking pull back. Go, All right, we'll go wash your finger because you don't want to go to <laughs> fucking ass the pussy. It's bad for the vagina. And then you keep it pushing. There's other hot things to do. As a matter of fact, I was like, I want to fuck you in the ass because we were just banging so so long. Like, I, I didn't know what else to do. Like, we fucked every position. So I was like, I guess the butthole is next. And she was like, can you please not fuck me in the ass? And I said, okay. <laughs> what is, did you find? The- yeah, this game's called Concho. I told what? you. It's it, where I don't believe this. Kids put their index fingers together and try to ram them up their best friend's butt or even better, their teacher's butt. Hashtag what? me too. Hashtag <laughs> me too. It's a different culture over there, man. A, a culture? What? what? Fucking concho. I think there was a... I, the way I saw it, there was like a statue. There was like a statue of somebody concho in a motherfucker. No one is doing this. <laughs> and Japan, yo, bro, and th- this country sells fucking used panties out of goddamn vending machines. You don't think they're concho on motherfuckers? No, I, no, I, I don't. We used to play a game called Buckle Up, where you walk up, where you walk by a motherfucker. See, yeah, there's the fucking statue of the concho. Holy we'll post it. goodness. Yeah, concho your ass, motherfucker. The word is slang uh, for the... For sodomy. For the Japanese word for enema. <laughs> What the hell? Motherfucking concho, <laughs> motherfucker. Thought I, was, thought I was lying. I want to know somebody who's actually been conchoed. This this makes no sense to me. I don't know if we got a ton of Japanese <laughs> listeners or anything like that. Or you never played the buckle up game back when you was younger? I don't think so. You just walk by a motherfucker and be like, fucking backhand them or punch them in their nuts and be like, buckle up because they, bu- they bend over <laughs> like they buckled up. That was like us as teenagers. You buckle a motherfucker, get you. Catch a motherfucker talking to their girl or something. Just walk by. Buckle up. They be like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking down. I think we called it ball tapping or something. Or whatever. Yeah, there's always, like, look, you can't do none of that shit now. 
It's a fucking you buckle up a motherfucker. It's a rape case. <laughs> you fucking Chris seems like a ball tapper. He would do that kind of thing. And there was the other one where you do the circle on your hand. You're like, hey, what's up? And you do a little a okay. And if they look at the if they look at you, if they look at that shit, you get to sock them. You never play that game either? The circle game. That was called, I don't even know the name of the game. But like, that was that shit. You'd be like, hey, yo. And then you look down. Oh, I got you. Boom. You get to sock them. <laughs> then you get two for flinching. Oh, yeah. I forgot you get two for flinching. I got many of those. I know. You got a Lots. gang of flinches. <laughs> Lots. You a flinching ass motherfucker. Hey. You try to give him a cup of water, John. Good. <laughs> no. Like, John, I'm just hand you a bottle of water. A little on edge. Concho. I don't think don't we- don't don't bring that shit to the states. You get a, you'll catch a fucking case. I can I I don't believe people are doing this. You don't. They erected a statue. So people are pulling down someone's pants and then shoving their fingers in their asses. I mean, what 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 is that? They're not pulling down the pants, but they're just trying to jam their fucking fingers in the asses with the two fingers. Make two pointy fingers, push them together, and go bing. I don't know. I don't know if they yell "concho" during it or if it's just implied. I don't know if they're like "concho" or if it's just like "God, God, I'm concho that motherfucker and keep it moving." All right. I wonder if there's any YouTubes of it. Is there a YouTube of a concho, like real life concho happening? Pull me up, John. No YouTube, John. YouTube, concho YouTube. <laughs> All right. Let's see. See, look. We have any audio here? We're just hanging out. It's just some white dude. Oh, he don't know what's about to happen. Okay. Oh, yeah, here we go. Let me fast forward. Fast baby. forward that shit. All right, his, it's, this is white on white crime. He's sneaking up behind him. Concho. Oh, he concho the girl. Holy crap. That's... What the fuck? That's assault. No one else in Japan seemed to feel that way. What the hell? And then he drank some, he drank some beer. He knew that... He, he knew that since he was in Japan, that was the only time he was going to be able to finger that girl's asshole. Jeez. He fucking took full advantage of that culture shit. Concho. All right, Chris. Hey, I'm, I'm... Right now, I'm just telling you, I got hemorrhoids. Don't nobody try to concho me in this motherfucker. I'll we we're going to HR. <laughs> I'll tell like a motherfucker, you concho me, bro. How is this a game? You keep your fucking fingers out of my ass. Especially you with your jazz hands, John. Your I, fucking magical fucking fucking creepy fingers of yours. I'm not reaching for your anus. Yeah, whatever. You. I'm not. That was the news. Pill mix up next.